This video uses the operation pivot map. We load pivot map by double clicking, shift clicking, right click, copy, move to our calculator, right click, paste, press enter. To see that we have loaded it, press the VAR key, press CAS, press program, and we see that pivot mat has been loaded into our calculator. Pivot mat is found under the info, immediate mode, CAS, VAR option. Then we press finite math and we see that under linear programming, dual problems, pivot mat is listed. We now load OneNote to solve the following linear program, simple maximum standard problem. This is the same problem that we earlier used graphical methods to solve. To satisfy stockholders, a company needs to make a profit of $5 on each goose down pillow and $9 on each goose down comforter it manufactures. The company buys high quality goose down from a distributor who guarantees a supply of 2,500 pounds a week. The factory is limited to 45 workers at 40 hours per week. The pillows require two pounds of down, one hour of work, and comforters four pounds of down, three hours of work. How many of each per week should the company manufacture for maximum profit? We take the information here and put it in this chart. Then we take the chart and write these equations. Let's move to our calculator and work the problem by the calculator's operation simplex reduce. The first thing we want to do is clear the calculator. What we have shown is the solution using the simplex reduce operation. First, we enter the matrix M. Then we enter the vector for the constraints, 2518. Then we enter the profit vector, 5 and 9. We put this into the simplex reduce as with parameters M, C, and P. And it tells us that the maximum profit is 6,250 with 1,250 pillows. No comforters. We add two slack variables for the simplex to work these problems. So the first slack variable is zero and the second slack variable is 550. We will discuss the simplex tableau more in a second. We show on this subpage how we use pivot mat to perform the simplex calculations. The first thing we do is change our inequalities to equalities by adding slack variables u and v. Then we take our profit statement that we want to maximize and move the 5x and the 9y to the other side and come up with the last line of our initial simplex. Since P never changes, when we work the problem, we leave this column out. We set up pivot map so it would work in the CAS or home screen. So the first thing we do is switch ourselves over to the home screen by pressing this button. Then we add the matrix M1 to our calculator. We use the matrix editor here to add this to our calculator. We are using the home screen because when we end up with our matrix answers, they turn out to be decimals. Then we press the ABC key on our calculator and switch all the answers over to fractions. What the simplex technique does is pick a pivot column and a pivot row and a pivot element. To find the pivot element and the pivot row, we go to the most negative column and take the constraints and divide them 
by the coefficients in that column. So here we take 2,500 and divide it by 4, and 1,800 and divide it by 3. We use the list operator so that we can do two calculations in one statement. We then pick the smallest value and it becomes our new pivot element. So therefore, we take matrix M1 and pivot at row 2, column 2, and store this as M2. We use the shift store operation here because it's easier to follow what we're doing. The colon equal could also work, but the store allows us to see better what is happening. We keep repeating this process until we end up with all positive elements in our last statement. A couple other details are worth pointing out. In this particular situation where we had to take a number divided by a fraction, we use the fraction template right here because it was easier to enter these uh, compound fractions using the fraction template. The other thing to point out is that when we figure out the ratio, we only use positive entries. So in this situation right here, we only have one entry because when we take 150, the coefficient here is a negative two, so we ignore that particular entry. We notice that our last entry by pivot mat is the same as the entry that we got by using simple reduce. We interpret the answer just like it shows here. The first x is equal to 1250. The y is messy, so it's set to zero. The u is equal to zero, and the last entry, the v, is equal to 550. Our profit is $6,250. If we take a look at these particular screenshots, what we are doing is going from one corner to another corner until we get to the optimum profit. So this is the same values that we get from our corner graphical maximum solution. This ends our video on simplex method for standard form.